Of course, it's James, the hero of Silent Hill 2. But just like in the first Silent Hill, the main character does not have the key role. Mary? Maria is a fascinating woman who epitomizes the ambiguity of Silent Hill 2. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do you want to know? Disturbing and uh, sometimes looks cute. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no specific model of her. With her disturbing ambivalence, the Maria character has much more appeal than other heroines. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, for example, the one of Final Fantasy, the movie. Yeah. Sato explains why. She ran away. But the uh, main girl character doesn't have a wrinkle and uh, doesn't have a kind of a bad point. She, she is kind of perfect. For example, you know, if you are, uh, if you are attracted by uh, some woman, you know, she's not perfect. You know, uh, if you take take her pictures, you know, uh, uh, sometimes her face is like that, you know, it's not perfect, but, uh, you know, if always she's perfect, I guess uh, you want love her, you, <coughs> you are in love with her because uh, she's human, she has, uh, you know, uh, character. You know, that character has a, you know, bad point. Of course, bad point. And, uh, you know, good point. They didn't make that. But, uh, you know, it's more real than the Silent Hill second. You know, from a uh, you know, visual or, you know, technique point of view. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, I made it more realistic. Work. Do I look like your girlfriend? No. So Maria is a woman who has her weak points, but takes full responsibility for them. She flaunts the tummy with a little roll of flab. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. Doesn't try to conceal the brown spots on her skin. Cheats with respect to some parts of the body. I think I, she, she, she is a brunette. She's not blonde. She died, you know, red, and she died, you know, she breached. These details make her seem very real. A woman with appeal. Sato explains, actually, Maria was sexier when we first started out, but her plunging neckline gave us too many technical problems, and we weren't happy with the way the graphics looked. A body like that isn't much without a lively, expressive face. So Sato threw himself into his work on this part of the animation. I tried to act sexy in front of a mirror and, uh, you know, I got uh, just open, open half the eyes and uh, uh, move the, you know, under lip sexier like that, you know, in the office. I was pervert. <laughs> As a matter of fact, to obtain better results in face animation, Sato did not resort to motion capture. I couldn't trust the, uh, you know, face motion capture. That motion capture system uh, is, took just the, uh, you know, uh, position of the skin. If you open the mouth, uh, on, you know, muscles in down here is tighten. But a uh, motion capture cannot cannot capture it. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, if I I make them in front of a mirror, I can notice it. I can capture it. You know, that's most of uh, you know the biggest reason. By doing the animation by hand, you can combine dozens of expressions and come up with just the right one, even the most absurd. On the other hand, motion capture was used for the body sequences. In other words, these motions were carefully thought out, or rather, carefully observed. The actress playing Maria struck poses that would turn the head of any red-blooded male player.
the animators simply had to transpose these sexy poses. Cut. For the finishing touch, all they needed was a voice that would bring the face to life. Between 50 and 60 people from Japan and the United States were auditioned, and only five of them were hired. By the way, the same persons who made the motion capture. What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Killing a person named. You must be thinking five. Hmm, that's funny. There are six characters. That's easy to explain. The same person played Maria and Mary. Once again, it's no accident. Same uh, polygon structure. Polygon structure of a face. Exactly same. You know, a little bit uh, skull shape is different. And uh, Maria can make uh, Mary's face. Mary can make Maria's face. But the uh, gimmick of the face, like a skeleton and uh, you know, muscle structure, is a little bit different. Now, unlike James, Angela is really bizarre. In the game, she's supposed to be 16 or 17. She doesn't look like a teenager. It's not, you know, usual teenagers. One has a something, I think. And I try to, uh, you know, uh, I try to make her make her face special, has something inside. Then, uh, you know, that's why I made, uh, you know, uh, this lines, you know, this shadows. You know, she has a kind of a short nigger mouth, and uh, try to uh, make her face emotion, face animation, uh, a little bit uh, uncomfortable. Lost? That makes her look more older. The design team aimed to make Angela look older and opted for an older voice. The actress playing Angela is about 40. Last but not least, there's Eddie. Excuse me. His creation was kind of funny. <laughs> Who, for your information, doesn't know about it. Fortunately, he only borrowed his friend's physical characteristics because Eddie is maybe the most deranged of all. He appears heavy and clumsy due to a number of subtle details. You... you killed him? His uh, pupil... a little bit wider. Open a little bit wider from another character's. His eye direction is... a. Uh, Another direction. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, his eyes uh, move a little fast compared to another character's. You know, yeah, I did that on purpose. Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? An in-depth study of human emotions, passionate attention to detail, and perfect casting. There lies the secret of the characters in Silent Hill 2. But the monsters are every bit as ambiguous.